Tonight, we're going to be exploring downtown Las Vegas to find out, is it worth visiting? We're going to show you the old, we're going to show you the new, and we're going to be exploring to see if you should add this to your next Vegas trip or not. Be sure to watch till the end. This is going to be a good one. Jay Cation, fellow YouTuber, and why do you love coming to downtown Las Vegas so much? Well, first of all, look at these lights. I mean, the strip has lights, right. but over here, you get that classic old Vegas feel. You get all the old signs. You go into Fremont Street, and you're going to enjoy that LED screen and the live music. You guys may recognize the Plaza Hotel right now from the weekend's Heartless, and there's actually been a lot of stuff that's been filmed here. It's probably pretty familiar to many of the viewers right now. Yeah, Back to the Future 2, Biff Tannen's Casino. Alternate 1985, man. This is it. I like part one the best, though. Yeah, oh classic, no, classic. that takes the cake. We're about to eat at Oscar Steakhouse inside the Plaza Hotel, named after the former mayor of Las Vegas. And this is a classic old Vegas experience. I think you guys are gonna like a lot. He gave us the million dollar table here. Awesome. That's one hell of a view, I have to say. We've got neon everywhere. We have some great appetizers, sharing appetizer, everybody's favorite, their crab cake, calamari, they have a nice uh, pork belly. Here you go, cheers. Woo. Try it. Mm. These appetizers are heavenly here. This is the uh, the Moose's Glazed Pork Belly. Wow, so tender. Just... Mm. I've never tried this meatball yet, and I heard really good things about it, so let's try it out. Bellissimo. I don't know how Jay managed to pull this off, but he dropped a piece of his meatball in my cocktail. Is this a new drink we're trying? It's a five-day hangover, guys. I just don't have any motor skills right now. Jay, you were not kidding about that view at sunset here. It, like, everything just suddenly changed. It's so bright. The lights are amazing, aren't they, man? Oh my god. Something else. They? I feel like I've been transported into some kind of a movie right now. I mean, this is basically the birth of Vegas, right? And you're looking at the Fremont Street, they even show you pictures yeah. of, you know, through the years. So it's pretty cool. Over here. Look how tender that is. It just easily cuts right off. Two really great choices for steak. And I mean, this is what it's all about in old Vegas, huh? Yep. Classic steakhouse overlooking Fremont Street. What else could you ask for? Oh, wow. Wow. It melts in your mouth, right? It's tender. It would be a sin to put steak sauce on this. Like, they don't even bring you steak sauce. I don't even have the option for it right now. I really am impressed with the seasoning on this, too. It just adds a lot of flavor. As good, if not better, than most of the steaks I've ever had in New York, too. This is what I want out of a steak experience. This is exactly what I want. Like, sign me up for that. Does it feel like you're in a little Las Vegas history right now? Yeah, I would say yeah. that, actually. So you know how In-N-Out Burger has an off-menu item? We've got an off-menu item here at Oscars named after Mr. Jay Cation. Yeah, so this is the Jay Cation three-layer chocolate cake, chocolate mousse. And if you order an entree, you get this for free if you mention Jay Cation. Let's try it. You got a great off-menu item, man. I want my own. How do you get that set up? It's gotta, you know, Tell me a Bruno Mars and they'll they'll All help right. you up. <laughs> they got confused. <laughs> We've got Circa right here and Jay, everybody I talk to about downtown Vegas lately is saying you've gotta hit up Circa. You do man, it's basically a brand new strip hotel in old Vegas. When you're here, look, you walk through the place already. Yeah. Do you feel like you're downtown? No. No. So it's like a strip property downtown. Because when you drive in on that highway, it looks like a Tony Stark building in the middle of nowhere. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. I think now staying downtown, it's not always going to be the cheaper aspect. It's going to be the better customer service. It's going to be people care a little bit more because you're not just a number. You're going to come down here and you're going to see people are a little bit less stuffy, people in suits less stuffy, people that actually want to do stuff for you, want to help you. Guess kicker, 21 plus. Ah. We're an adult themed casino hotel and we're the first and only in Vegas. It's a sport themed pool with a DJ. The Universal longest escalators in Vegas. A minute, 30 seconds to get up.
40 foot tall TV screen while you swim. So since you have this 40 foot tall big screen and you want to place bets on games, they have these teller machines right here where you can put your parlays in before a Golden Knights game or a Padres game. And they also have blackjack tables right next to it too. This is the power play move. You rent a cabana and you can watch sports right from here. What happens when uh, Bruno Mars gets you access, man? Right. He's living that life. It's like a world of color right now, right? Yeah. Right here? Yeah, okay. Liked about downtown Vegas was that it's a couple of blocks here and then a few other blocks around where the strip is just so spread out. Yeah, I mean, the strip will take you about an hour and 20 to get from Mandalay Bay to the Strat. Over here, 15 minutes, you're, you've walked the whole thing. It's, it's so, so neon. It's, yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's so old school here. And then you got that zip line with people zipping across. The rooms are cheaper, food is cheaper, drinks are cheaper. Oh, yeah. Um, you got Tony Romans here that serves steak and lobster for $11.99 from 9 to 11 p.m. Places like Pop-Up Pizza, you got Evil Knievel pizza? Evil Knievel, check out our Cheap Eats Food Guide. You'll see what's going on in there. Give you a clue, it's pizza and beer, pretty cheap. 99 cent shrimp cocktail here. Now we're also standing on a famous music video scene, right? You want you want to sing it to him? Pop Pop is showtime. Guess who's back again? Poor man's Bruno Mars right here. No, I tried. I tried. I tried. 24 Karat Magic was filmed. He was driving a drop top through the streets with this with this as the backdrop. There's four characters posing for photos here, and even Times Square. In fact, I kind of get that Times Square vibe here if you think about it, right? Yeah, it pretty much is like the Times Square of Vegas, right? I saw a Tiger King impersonator here. Yeah? I'm telling you, looks just like the dude. We wanted our camera guy Ben and his girlfriend Saiba to have a pretend wedding. You can do it, but this place here, it's closed, so they were really ready to like scare all their friends. We were really looking forward to it. In fact, we even got a ring. So are you actually engaged? Oh, no comment. Are you sweating? <laughs> <laughs> it's because we eat spicy food. <laughs> He's sweating, man. <laughs> right here is convinced that El Cortez is the luckiest casino in Vegas? Yeah, I think they have the loosest slots and the best table games. You have your best chance to win in some money over here at the El Cortez. Alright, we're going to put a little money into a slot machine. Let's see what happens. Machines, oh, one, dude. one cent machines. Wow, I just spent 50 cents. Still haven't won yet. Six cents, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Six cents. I present this to you here, B-Bar. Enough to buy nothing. We can keep it. We're e East Fremont right now? East Fremont Street, yep. Now what's this known for? Well, you have the container park over here that yeah. has a few like breweries slash yeah. bars. A little more outdoorsy. And I guess you can say family friendly a little bit. Okay, a little more family friendly down there. And you. you also got this uh, praying mantis that shoots fire. That will scare the living bejesus out of you if you're not paying attention. Which happened to you one time, right? Oh yeah, on the live stream too. Is downtown Vegas worth visiting for anybody? Most definitely, you gotta check this out. I mean, it's old Las Vegas, you gotta see the lights, you gotta see the energy, the excitement. If you want to learn a lot more about Las Vegas, make sure to check out Jaycation's channel. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, tell me in the comments what you think about old Vegas here. Till next time.